Evening ladies and gents, we've had this come back in on a part exchange, um, a 62 plate or 2012 Audi A6 Avance of the estate, S line, three liter TDI V6 Quattro, 245 brake horsepower model. So that basically means it is pretty fast. Um, HPI clear MOT until the 16th of March, 2023. Six owners, 135,000 warranted miles, and it's got full service history stamped. And it's just had a service now and also a gearbox service, which is obviously quite costly. So it drives absolutely superb, very, very smooth gear changes and very powerful as well. It is a HPI clear, which I'm not sure if I've mentioned. It has been very tastefully modded as well. So we will take that into account on the price. Um, currently, one of these as standard is around ten and a half thousand pounds with the extra mods. Who knows? So it will be priced accordingly. Um, it has had some spaces put on the front and the back, so it sits absolutely beautifully now, which you can probably tell in the pictures and the videos. It sits just on the arch, which is spot on how you want one of these to be. Obviously, we've got the Xenons, and I think that's an RS6 grille there as well. But anyway, let's get stuck in on the bodywork. The reason for these videos is just to outline all the marks, the minor, the major, so you know what you're getting for your money. Slight kind of straight there. A couple of little chips on the bonnet, nothing major. I'd say in terms of prep, the wheels potentially could do with a refurb, and I'll probably say all four as well. They're not massively scuffed, but uh, a couple of scrapes. And obviously these being the, the rotor wheels as well, which will enter these, I think they're 20s as well. But other than that, in terms of age and mileage, it's got beautiful bodywork, no massive scratches or dents. The only kind of mark on here is the passenger rear side quarter, which you can see there in the pictures and in the video right there for you to have a look. Um, other than that, it is nice. It ha actually, it has had some sort of custom exhaust on there, so it has got a nice roar, a nice rumble as well, which you can probably make out. So when you do drive off, it does roar quite nicely, especially for a diesel. We've, we Obviously, we've had the diffuser put on there as well, if you can see. Let's carry on making our way around. So you can probably tell with the spaces there, the tire is literally sat on the arch, which makes it, does really make it stand out. It looks very RS6-ish. It definitely does. Overall, nice bodywork. Um, it's a nice clean car. It does turn heads, believe you me, it does turn heads. Front splitter there, which has been slightly cracked. If you can see, you can get one of these off of eBay as well, around 80 odd pound or something. So we'd be open to sensible offers based on the wheels, the little niggly bits here and there. We've got a slight kind of rusting away on the driver's arch. Other than that, nice and clean on the interior. Let me zoom out for you. No warning lights on the dashboard, nothing like that at all. It is my daily driver, so take that as the car drives very well and it is powerful and it is smooth and it is beautiful and it is so nice to drive, it really is. Obviously, keyless start and all the rest of it. Ice cold air conditioning. Let's have a look at the back. So like I said, I will potentially consider part exchange. It's got to be something nice, obviously. Um, and I'll consider sensible offer based on what the car needs doing, but it's not a lot. It's all cosmetics, if anything. Mechanically, it can't be faulted. Um, thanks a lot for watching. If you've got any questions, email, call, etc., etc. Thanks a lot.